Welcome back to another Crown Tundra guide. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Galari in Slow King. So let's get right on into it. So yeah, first things first, my name is Precision. You can come hang out with me any night at twitch.tv slash Precision. We do the shiny hunting. I went 14 hours for the Crown Tundra. I'm loving it so far. It's amazing. Please subscribe to me here on YouTube if you like the content and want to see some more in the future. Please hit the little bell to know when things go live and uh, leave a like if you find this video helpful at all. I really appreciate it. So yes guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to get Galarian Slow King. You need the same items that you need in the Isle of Armor, which are those twigs, Galari Mac nut twigs. They do drop in the Crown Tundra, so you can get them in both DLC areas, but you are gonna to wanna to get 15 instead of eight. Once you have collected all of those twigs, you wanna to fly to Giant's Bed. I find this to be the easiest. Uh, that should take you right in front of Registeel's door, and then you just go straight across the map to the frigid sea area you have to go through that once you get to the frigid sea you want to go left in the water and then you'll follow it around and you will find a new cave you just want to go inside that cave and you will find a lady hiding behind a rock and she will say for 15 twigs i will give you a wreath and so you take the wreath you give it to your galarian slow poke and you will instantly get yourself a Galarian Slow King. The one I'm showing you on the screen is the shiny form. You can tell by the jewel on its head. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty sad shiny. But anyway, guys, it is that easy to get Galarian Slow King. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.